Good morning, everyone. Today we're going to talk about a really great website called Canva, which is kind of like Canvas, but isn't. Um, it's a site that allows you to do all kinds of infographics, which is basically a really, really fancy looking digital poster. Um, the nice thing about it is it actually allows someone like me, who really does not have a lot of design skills, to create something that looks pretty impressive. Um, so let's get started and see what it can do. Uh, first of all, when you come to it, you are going to need to sign in. Um, you can just sign in with your Google or school account. Uh, so I'm going to sign in right there. And it brings you to this page where you're going to want to click on create a design. One of the great things about Canva is there are just tons and tons of uh, different templates you can use. Um, today, I want to make a photo collage. So I'm going to go over here and click on, you guessed it, photo collage. Um, it brings up, again, all of these different templates on the side. Now, if you notice, a bunch of them say free, which means they're free. And some of them have a dollar sign, which means you can't afford them because you're a teacher. So go through and choose a template that looks good to you. I think I'm going to use this one about mammals, and it brings it up over here. And again, the nice thing here is somebody who has more talent than you has already created just a beautiful design. Now from here, you're going to, want to change a few elements. And the first thing you're going to want to do is give this bad boy a title so you don't lose it. So you're going to come up here where it says untitled design, which is what everything you make is called until you give it a title. And I'm going to call mine Eleanor Roosevelt because we're going to do a little photo collage about the bad girl of presidential politics, Eleanor Roosevelt. Um, and so that is now saved and everything I do will be saved automatically underneath that. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to change this to say Eleanor Roosevelt. And if you notice, it doesn't quite fit. So you have a couple of options. You can stretch this one way or the other, or I'm actually just going to highlight it and change the font size. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm also going to change this to say Godmother of Human, spelled correctly, rights, because that's what she was. Now, again, if you notice, because I added two lines, it kind of messed things up. You can just easily just click on it and drag it to where you want. And if you notice, there's even a little line that will tell you when you've got it nicely centered. Isn't that handy? So good. That looks good. Now, let's add some pictures of Eleanor. Now, I don't have any pictures of Eleanor, and you can search for pictures of Eleanor Roosevelt, um, and they do have a lot of photos. But what comes up is, A, pictures of Franklin Roosevelt, misogynist Canva, and also, again, they all cost monies. So, I'm going to go over here to Uploads, where I've already uploaded a bunch of pictures of Eleanor Roosevelt from Britannica Image Quest, which is a great thing to do because you know that they're rights protected. Um, to upload your own pictures, you can very easily just click on the Upload Your Own Images button and bring them up. Um, so to add pictures onto here, the great thing is you don't need to delete what's on here. You're just going to cover it up. So I'm going to choose this picture. I'm going to drag it over. Notice it's huge, but I'm going to put it over on top of the fox and it automatically just shrinks down and goes perfect. Now let's do this picture. I'm going to put it here. Now if you notice, they cut off poor Ellie's head. So we're going to double click on it and it brings up the whole photo and I can move it up and down until I get it in the place that I want. And when I let go, I just click the return button and it goes in there perfectly. I'm going to bring in one more photo, drop it down. God, that looks great, doesn't it? Okay. Now, the last problem we have here is there's a whole paragraph here about mammals when I really want to be talking about Eleanor Roosevelt. So I can go in here and I can delete it and I can type my own thing. Um, the other thing I can do is I can go over here 
to my Google document here that I wrote about Eleanor Roosevelt, godmother of human rights, I can take all this, I can copy it, and go back in, I can paste it, and there it is. Now if you notice, again, it's a little too long, so I'm actually, I'm going to stretch it a little bit this way, I'm going to stretch it a little bit this way, and then I'm going to take the whole thing, I'm going to shrink it down to about 14, and there you go. And I have this lovely infographic. From here, I can post it digitally on the web, or I can actually download it as a PDF, and it will download to my computer. Saving my design gives me a fun little quote while I'm waiting. And uh, from here, you can email it and tweet it out. Uh, other options, if you click the share button, include um, creating a link that you can email to people so that they can see your design. All in all, it makes it super easy to create really professional documents and to share them with others. I highly recommend you check it out and use it with your students as soon as you can. Thanks so much. Have a great day.